Part of our uh, final project was to identify and describe the connection between the key thinker that I chose and their ideas and contributions um, in accordance with the principles of media and communication that we discussed in our course. Another thing that we were asked to do was uh, to identify the connection between the key thinker and uh, a specific interest of mine uh, within the field of communication and media. Um, and something that I've learned in researching uh, Betty Friedan is um, I visited the National Organization for Women website many times in researching about her. And what I found is that the National Organization for Women have this incredible foundation. And a part of their foundation is this initiative called Love Your Body. And it actually just so happens that tomorrow, October 18th, is National Love Your Body Day. Um, this body issue image thing has been an ongoing theme in my life for as long as I can remember. Um, and it is something that I feel very, very passionately about. Um, and it's been amazing to um, get to know the NOW Foundation and everything that they are doing in uh, regards to positive body image. Um, you know, I think something that Betty Friedan was really passionate about was to go against the suffocation of expectation. And she was working so hard to, um, work against that. She was working so hard to uh, help women to not feed into what they see in advertising in magazines and to just be real, um, be yourself and not feel you have to live up to some unrealistic expectation. And I think ways that we can really uh, fix this is by portraying more real women um, on television in advertising, in the media, and also to tackle the real issues of retouching. The fact that most of the people we see in magazines have hired help that help them to look like that all the time. If we all had the money to do that, I'm sure we would too. Um, and just to live in realistic expectations and know that uh, real love comes from the inside and um, real validation also comes from the inside. And this this kind of goes along with um, our unit four, where we were talking about uh, Jean Kilborn and her messages about advertising and the detrimental nature that the media has upon women, um, especially in regard to alcohol um, uh, in the media. And that is one of the things that I used in, in my slideshow to portray um, disrespect and gender bending, um, disrespectful uh, advertising, um, especially in mainstream media now. It's all over the, um, the football, um, Super Bowl Sunday commercials, and it's kind of hard to escape it um, where the media and advertising are still trying to shove down our throats what their expectation of women are. Um, we just need to continue to battle against that.